Hi everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Today I wanted to pose a question to you all. Is the 777X the perfect aircraft for Air New Zealand? If you have any initial thoughts on this question, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section uh, and I'll hopefully get back to you as soon as possible. In this video, I'm just going to share my thoughts on the question. Although a lot of people think I prefer Airbus aircraft, I actually do believe the 777X would be perfect for Air New Zealand's operations um, and I'd absolutely love to see the 777X with the airline. So there are actually two variants of the 777X at this stage, but first I feel it's important to explain what long-haul aircraft Air New Zealand currently operate to get a scope for where this 777X could eventually fit in. The airline operates the 777-200ER, 777-300ER and the 7879 in their long-haul fleet. Although one does not necessarily have to order an aircraft just to replace another, I feel this may be the most likely scenario when it comes to Air New Zealand. In my eyes, a straight swap with the older 777-200ERs for the 777X could be beneficial. But as I mentioned earlier, the 777X has two variants, the Dash 8 and the Dash 9, which will pose another question, that being which variant should Air New Zealand opt for? Obviously the Dash 200ER could have the Dash 8 as a replacement. The 777-200ER has a range of about 13,000 kilometers, with the new 777-8 having some 16,000 kilometers in range, which is certainly an increase, but that could be beneficial for the airline, especially as Air New Zealand operates the 777-300ER alongside the 200 variant. Oddly enough, the Dash 300ER has almost the same range as the 777-8, so one may now think that therefore the Dash 8 could simply replace both the 300ER and the 200ER variants, which is certainly a valid point and argument in my opinion. However, I actually feel the choice may come down to the capacity of the two. The Dash 8 and Dash 300ER's capacity is actually almost identical if an airline was to have a two-class configuration. So you may now be asking, why couldn't you swap the Dash 300ERs with the 777-8? Well, my thinking behind that question is the future of the two aircraft, really. The Dash 200ER is actually quite a fair bit older than Air New Zealand's 777-300ER aircraft, which would say to me that they would be the first to go from the 777 family with the airline. If an airline was to replace the Dash 300s with the shortest member of the new 777X family, then what happens with their even shorter classic Dash 200? Now obviously an airline like Air New Zealand could certainly operate an all 777-8X fleet, but is this what they really want? The two variants of the classic 777 show that Air New Zealand actually like variation in capacity, range and size. This is why of course they opted for two different original 777s. Therefore, maybe an order for both the 777-8 and 777-9 aircraft makes a little bit more sense. Now these orders certainly would not be huge, um, as this airline only has 8 of the 777-200ERs and 7 of the Dash 300ERs, but certainly I could see possibly the airline ordering 15 of the 777X aircraft and splitting them between the two variants. Not only would this mean that the new aircraft could take the airline forward in the coming years, but also it would perfectly replace their older models and go along nicely with their 7879. The addition of especially the Dash 8 variant of the 777X could also mean the introduction of new routes, quite possibly opening up more services to South America, Asia and quite possibly India. However, of course, it's down to the airline to assess the demand for each part of the world. Finally, one could argue that the airline could opt for the A350 ULR or A350-900, A350-1000 instead. Seeming the airline opted for the 7879, in my eyes only, I feel like they're more inclined to stick with Boeing, especially as they have the history of purchasing the classic 777. Let me know your thoughts on this aircraft in the comment section. Also, feel free to let me know if you think this would be the perfect replacement for Air New Zealand's aging 777 fleet, or do you think it'd just overall be an excellent addition to go along with their Dash 300 ERs? Thank you very much for watching another video of mine, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace. I will fly.